Yo, what's going on? We live at my DJ's radio. And apparently I got a celebrity in the building, you know what I mean? And I'm going to let him introduce himself right now so y'all get to know exactly who he is. Tell him a little bit uh, about yourself. Well, my name is Serge Jinx. I've been music producer for some time. Done a couple of albums that people might know. Definitely. And uh, speaking of the albums, uh, yo, why don't you just break down some of the caliber of celebrity that you worked with over the, you know, the years? So they get a feel for some of the legends that you've been in the presence of. Well, you know, I did the Ice Cube stuff, the yo-yo stuff. I'm not a really big guy on on speaking on the right, past because right. I believe I'm the producer. And mm -hmm. people that ask me questions will have to ask me about them because mm -hmm. I wouldn't just care about talking about them because it's not really... Some of it's not relevant, I forget, so you'll probably yeah. have to ask me. Like, right, what? right. And it sounds like you dropping names, I don't like that. You know? Okay, so, for sure. So <laughs> I work with a lot of people. I that's mean. what's up. So uh, currently, right now, what do you have in the mix? You know what I mean? Are you, um, what, what are you currently producing right now? Uh, the Sir Jinx, I, I got a um, uh, no distribution company. I've been putting out little compilations, helping out like some of the guys that I... Um, I'm working with, but not working with. You know, they pretty much got their own companies, helping them set the companies up, put it, get their music out on the internet and stuff like that. That's dope. That's what I've been up to. Uh, you, were you based out of L.A.? or? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. out of L.A. That's what's up. Oh, no, where, where, wherever. You wherever? Know, wherever. That's what's up, man. So uh, as far as uh, music, is it, you know, what's some of the things that influence you as a producer? Or who are some of the producers that influence you? Um, <clears throat> well, you know, I come from back in the day, and there was no rap producers. Back then, it was it was just like you know like Marcus Miller. I like that guy. He was, he was real dope. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Verdeen and different type of producers. I like different parts of the music. Mm -hmm. So when I first start doing music, I would take pieces like I like Roger for this. How I like I was influenced by you know Roger Troutman and uh, you know um, George Clinton and stuff like that. So okay, cool. and and I when they came out. It kind of showed you that you can make music a black way. So we kept going further and further, pushing the line. When you saw it, like the '76 album, the George Clinton won his record. Um, you you see how they start pushing the line, and they didn't have to continue to make the shooby doo type music. You could do anything. So we kept going with it, and that's how the music, and that's the you know rap music came, and then that's how you know kind of got into the game. Okay, so when you uh, when you're working with an artist, what you know, what's the the ideal artist that you're looking to work for that you're trying to produce for? I mean, you know, what type of artist you know fits your style the, you know, the uh, best? An artist that's comfortable with himself and and knows and very confident about going forward. It, you can't have no doubt in the game. You have a little bit of doubt, it's too much. You'll never make I like it. that. So you you got to believe it. You know, you, if if you you know was in charge of some people's career, like just say like a Master P mm -hmm. or something like that. You might not be in the Master P, right? right? But still, look at the drive he had, whether you liked him or not, you know? And that's True. the stuff that stands out, regardless on if you're trying to be a Nas type rapper or you're trying to be another kind of rapper, you still gotta be dope within yourself. You still gotta be hot. So when I work with an artist, he just had that confidence has to just come out because if I do the beat, he has to be better than the beat. Or they'll be like, why is he even on the beat? So, you know, when I find new pe people that can rhyme, they, they have to be better than jacking for beats. You know, they have to be better than um, Once Upon a Time in the Projects. Mm -hmm. And and mm -hmm. how that impact the world, it has to have that same kind of effect now, which anybody can do is out there, you know. But good rappers got to find it. Definitely, definitely. So what do, you, what do you think is the biggest difference between back in the day and today's generation of hip hop, you know, do you see a difference between the two as far as? Um, well, know? it's still based on a lot of shock value, and that's the part that kind of ruins hip hop is when they when they base it on shock value, not on skill. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. back in the day, you had to have skill mm -hmm. because they couldn't regulate it. There was nobody could regulate it but the people. Right. So when you became a rapper, you know, you had to do, you know different kind of rappers, to where now people is not creating a risk. So they continue to follow each other because of the internet. The internet is a gift and a curse. You oh, know? definitely. But it just made millions of people go in the same direction. When back in the day, you go to New Orleans and you know they wear the shorts with with little shoes and mm -hmm. and the bowl cuts. You go to New York, you know they wear the ballets and the thing. Everybody was so different to where you can stand up for yourself. But now, 
got some rappers don't want to do that. They all follow each other. Mm -hmm. They don't stand out, and a lot of the music now sounds more like one group mm -hmm. than at any time in life. Mm -hmm. Like I can't tell the difference between any of the songs. Mm -hmm. Either you rapping or with auto tune or mumbling. <laughs> I agree. That's that's like today's music, mm -hmm. which is dope. But mm -hmm. everybody can't mumble mm -hmm. and everybody can't auto tune. Everybody can't do it. Yeah. Word, but I like that definitely, definitely. So bef before I let you get out of here, man, since you're such a uh, I'm on the run, man. Yeah, you know I mean you're a, a great, uh, you know, you, you're influential. You oh, know thank what I mean? you, brother. So I want you to. Give you advice, man. If you was a, uh, you know, if I was an upcoming artist, which technically I am, yeah. you know what I mean? If I was an upcoming artist in the game, you know, what advice would you give to an up and coming artist that's trying to, you know, you know, make their lane and break into the industry? Well, uh, some artists just got to know, know themselves. Once again, mm -hmm. we go back to mm -hmm. that and be confident about what you want to do and sp spend a little time on your craft and then spend a little time on the business part. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have good business, then your music, you're not going to get paid. And if you have terrible songs and good business, you're still not going to get paid. So you kind of have to have that, that responsibility to do it because nobody wants to pay you. They only want to take money from you. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know that and you're talented, then you're not going to get paid. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get paid, you got to spend a little time over here, spend a little time over there. You know how when people go to college and they look at the beginning of it like, oh, four years is going to be crap. That's the long. I ain't going to go to school for four years. Next thing you know, they're in school for seven. But learning all that has made them a stronger student or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with the music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Spend a little time here. And if you spend a little bit of time, then you'll be smarter to be able to retain your, your publishing and ownership, become a, a businessman with your product rather than just a straight up artist Dope. you have to be a businessman now definitely the artist thing is a label but the <laughs> the big you know spectrum of the picture is you have to be a businessman mm -hmm. all the rappers that we look at that still in the game you look at them more as businessmen than rappers right True. Like, do you look no, at Jay Z as a rapper or no, a businessman? I definitely look him at him. He's at my top list of <laughs> yeah. people that I'm trying to model my career out. Yeah, he's a know? businessman that yeah. knows how because to he rap. doesn't have to do music no more. Yeah, that's the main thing is that he in but a position. But just like Too like, Short and yeah. you know, Cube mm -hmm. and all these people, you know, yeah, 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 they're yeah. businessmen. And when you were able to withstand the long, have longevity in this game, it's not just because your music; mm -hmm. it's because your business practice. Mm -hmm. True, you can do stuff that'll make you fall off. And then the people see you looking bummy, and then that that's not good. For, if somebody thought you supposed to be, you know, right. a suave type right. of guy right. on your rap songs, right. you, know, you know, exactly. That's you gotta cool. believe it. You gotta believe what you want to do. Yep. And that's that's the main thing that I, I try when I'm in the studio working with people. It's, it's almost like the you know the Phil Jackson thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if I gotta tell you what to do, you know, if I gotta tell you what to do, how I think go go. If I gotta tell you what to do, who gonna tell me what to do? Mm -hmm. So we all going for the same common goal, so it don't have to be like, you know, micromanaging with an artist. They, they, some artists know what they want. When I did the Ice Cube stuff, he knew what he wanted. Mm -hmm. we, we, we sculptured it, mm -hmm. you know, with Yo-Yo, same thing, they knew what they wanted. And I just helped them along the way, Yo, that's you know, dope, so. I like that, man. Well, before you get out of here, you got any shout outs you want to shout out to? You know, oh, man, man. <laughs> I want to shout out my uncle. My uncle, man, you owe me money. <laughs> nah. Good. That's what's up. Sir Jinx in the house. Man. Definitely, I'm man. glad you had me, man. Definitely, man. It's definitely a pleasure having you. How come I didn't get the uh, green screen? Oh, you're going to have it. Trust me. You're going to get a special one for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get for a special sure. one for you. Baby. I got a shout out. No, no shout out. Sir Jinx, check me out online. Y'all can uh, check out my um, couple of my compilations. Mm -hmm. They're called Amped Up Mix Nation. Cool. they on iTunes. It's a dope playlist of songs that are really dope because, you know, I, I dealt with people that had their own albums mm -hmm. and I just like, hey, let me get that and put it on a compilation so cool. people will be able to hear new artists. And some of the artists on there, you know, got features with Snoop on it. Got They got crazy features on it. It's I'm almost like, it a, 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 like a a like gold mine when you find these mixes. And one is uh, um, Pins and Needles. Okay. One is Landmines. One is About That Life. One is gifted and the privilege, and these about twelve songs, and they real dope songs. Artists that you would know, mm -hmm. that's you know, every, it's, it's a little bit of everybody. Razz to oh, that's the homie. To, cool. to to anybody, you know, a lot of you know some Mitchie Slick songs, you oh. know, that I did with him back in the day. But 
you know, check them out, man. Those, those, those compilations is dope. And my album, West Wing, I just dropped that album, and that's the album that I produced most of the tracks on it with MCA, Corrupt, and J.O. Felony, and all that. That's the West Wing album, yep. Sir Jinx. And I got my instrumental records, if y'all want to check that out. It's on iTunes. Gifted, I mean, uh, um, Next Man's Treasure, Jinx the Minnows. And, uh, oh, I like that. That's a dope title. And uh, Beats for Food. Okay, cool. So check that out. Definitely check those out. I know I will be for sure. You know what I mean? It's always good to be in the presence of somebody who, you know, got game and been around successful people. So take the knowledge, soak it up. I'm your boy, Shot Bully. My DJ's radio in the building. My man, Sir Jinx. We up out of here, man. Peace. See ya. <laughs>